Kia ora. In this video, we're going to have a look at using NZ Grapher. When you first load NZ Grapher, you'll get the splash screen here, which has links to a few useful things that you might want to go to, and then a big button here that says start using NZ Grapher. By clicking this, you're agreeing to the terms and conditions of using NZ Grapher. Let's go through a few of the bits that are on NZ Grapher. In the top left hand corner here, there are all of the menu options. So as you click on each of these, it will bring down sub menus and they allow you to do different things with the data set or open up your own data set, which you can either open from a file or import from the clipboard. On the left hand side here, it will show your data set. And then in the bottom left corner, you're able to set options for the graph, like what sort of graph you'd like to choose and then the variables that you'd like to graph. Up in the top right hand corner you're able to change the data source from a number of the built-in data sets or if your school has a school folder you can change that there and go and look at those data sets that your school has uploaded for you. This big area here on the right is where your graph will get drawn. This section here is where the options for the graph are so there'll be things like adding summary statistics or those sorts of things. And then in this bottom section you've got your graph title, your axis titles and the size that you want your graph to be and you can choose from some standard sizes in there. Then there's also some more options in the bottom right hand corner. And in the very top right corner there's these triple dots which let you show or hide the left section or show or hide the bottom section. And that's a quick overview of NZ Grapher. Check out some of the other videos for how to use the different graphs.